Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Roger Lorignard and in today's video I'll be demonstrating how to successfully link Microsoft Access to Microsoft SQL Server. For this tutorial I'll be using Microsoft Access 2019 and Microsoft SQL Server 2019. Prior to this video both programs were already installed. Also already installed is Microsoft SQL Management Studio 18 which is a tool or environment for managing the SQL infrastructure from the SQL Server. To begin, we go to our SQL Server Management Studios. We look for our server name and then we click Connect. We go to Databases and we right click on Database and we select New Database. Here we're going to give the database, we're going to create a name, in this case we give it a name called college underscore database and we click OK. We're going to expand the database tree and we're going to see this is the database we just created. We're going to expand this also and we go down to tables and we're going to be creating a new table for the database. We go to tables and then we click new, new table. Here we have to give the columns a name and choose a data type. So for my table, I'll give my column name. First column, I'll name it student underscore ID. I'll give it an int data type. I'm going to enter a column name for F name, which is the first name. I'm going to give this a data type of N voucher 50. I'll enter one more column name. Name this L underscore name. Also give that a data type of N voucher 50. Then I go to save. I give the table a name. I'll call it students underscore table oh. students underscore table and I click OK expand on tables there you can see it this is the database table we just created dbo dot students underscore table we can close the server for now and we go to our Microsoft Access. We click on the blank database. We're going to give the database a name. We can call it students underscore data. Click create. Next, we need to configure the connection to the SQL Server. So we need to click on external data, we click on more, we go down to the ODBC database. We can give this table a name, we can call it students. We go to machine data source and we click new. I'm getting an ODBC system DSN warning saying I'm not Logged in as the administrator, but as OK, we can click OK. We leave this as is and we click Next. And we're looking to select the driver. We're looking for the SQL Server driver. And then we click Next. And then we click Finish. For the new data source, we need to give it a name. So we'll enter a name called Students underscore data underscore connection we give it a description so we know to identify the connection so we name it connecting to SQL and we click the down arrow and we're going to select the server name select our server name and then we click next 
we leave this menu as is let me click next again here we're going to change the default database to the one we created highlight click and we're looking for the college database and we're going to click next we'll leave this menu everything here as default and you click finish what we need to do right now is test the connection to the data source so we click on test data source and for our connection we see we have been tested successfully once we get this message we can proceed so we click ok click ok again ok once more we can save the steps if we want to so i will save the steps after we tested successfully now we need to right click on table one which is our tables we need to go to import and we need to import from our sql server we need to create a link to the data source we click ok we need to select our machine data source and we're going to look for the connection to the data source which is students data connection connecting to sql which we created we highlight it and we click ok we're going to click on our connection to the table in our database which is students underscore table and then we click ok we're going to select the three fields which we previously entered and we click ok we're going to double click on our dbo students table and now we're going to enter some some data into the into the table fields we enter id number we enter a first name and we enter a last name enter one more id one more time and a first name and a last name we click save and now we need to open our microsoft sql server once more going to connect back to our server we're going to expand database expand our college database we're going to expand our tables and we're going to go to the students table which we created we're going to right click we're going to edit the top 200 rows to view the data in the tables And as you can see, the information that we entered on Microsoft Access is reflected in the server, is saved actually in the server. The uh, Microsoft Access is just a front-end application that is used in order to enter data into the server. The information is actually saved on the server. So now we've come to the end of my tutorial. I'd like to say thanks for watching. This was my tutorial on linking Microsoft Access to Microsoft SQL Server.